Hello and welcome back to this web development course. So in this tutorial, we're going to be reviewing what are HTML elements and attributes. So we're going to try and answer the question, what are HTML elements and what are HTML attributes? We'll also discuss void elements. So in a previous tutorial, we built this boilerplate or this HTML template. So let's just utilize this to help explore what's our elements. So, so far we've seen, we've developed some tags. So we have some HTML tags. We have a head set of tags here. Um, we have a meta tag, a, a title tag, body tag. So what's the difference between an element and a tag? To build an element, we're going to need um, the left angle bracket and then the element name, whatever that might be. And then we close. And then we finish that off with the angle brackets again. But to finish off this element set, we need the, the forward slash and then the element name. So everything must be wrapped within these tags here. So generally inside of an element is some content. So let's think of it this way. These tags or these elements, these are the instructions that we give to the browser. And the browser is able then to read these instructions and then display the content appropriately onto the screen. Now remember this element here is within the body tags. So it means that the content here will be viewable on the screen. So we're always working between the body tags if we want something to be viewable to the user. So our web page is going to be full of elements. This is how we're going to build a web page. We're going to have lots of different elements. So to try and answer the question, what's the difference between an element and a tag? Well, a tag is just something on its own. So this here, excuse me, this here is, is just a tag. And then obviously we then have an end tag. So this together is just a set of tags. But once we have something in between content and we have all the elements or the other, all the um, properties that we need uh, to build this element, then it becomes an element. So the whole thing is an element. Individually, these are just tags and this is just content. But when we think of it all together, we think of it as a HTML element. So in HTML, we have tags, we have elements, which is uh, all the tags and the content together. So we also have attributes. So let's just turn this element into an actual HTML element. We're going to be utilizing the uh, P tags, which are paragraph tags, which define some text. So you can see I have an opening P tag and a closing P tag and some content in between. Now, what else we have uh, in these tags are the ability to include attributes. Attributes can provide additional information about the element. So take, for example, this P tag. If I were to add width, so the attribute width, and then equals, and then define a size for this, so 400 pixels, for example, you can now see that I've applied this attribute to this element. So this here, this instruction, this attribute is going to resize the whole element. So you can see that it's important that attributes are always specified in the start tag. So you won't have attributes uh, in the end tag here. And then you can see that attributes are placed within the tag. And normally they consist of name value pairs. So we've got the name width and then the value equals 400 pixels. And here we can use double or the single quotes. So let's just finish off with a working example. Here I'm going to include style equals. And then we're going to change the color of the font to blue. So here we have a, the style attribute. Uh, but in this case, this is going to apply or provide instructions to the browser to change what's in the content. In this case, we're changing the style or the color of the text. So if I now go into my browser and refresh, 
you can see that the, the color of my content text has changed to blue. So to recap, in HTML, tags are individual items. So for example, here the P tag, and then of course tags generally open and they close using the forward slash. So elements, this describes all of the tags and all of the properties that it requires. So in this case, we have a set of P tags and then the content. So this now becomes an element, or we can think of this as an element. And then we have attributes. So attributes go inside of the initial tag and they're normally formed in name paired attributes. Uh, so here we have class equals name, for example. But importantly, we also, we also have something called void elements. And this includes the image tag, meta tag, link tag, or the input tag. So void elements are elements that don't have opening and closing tags. So let's just take an example of some of these. If you go back to the example, you can see that we've already created a void element here. We've got a meta tag. Notice that this tag doesn't have a closing tag. Also, if you look closely, we've already included an attribute in the HTML tag. Earlier, we created the lang equals en, specifying the, the language that's going to be utilized inside of this web page. So that concludes our review of HTML elements and attributes, or the principles of elements and attributes. So we have discussed what are elements, we also, we've also tried to answer what are attributes and also void elements. I'm always looking for feedback, so if the content was too slow or too fast or there wasn't enough detail or maybe I'm just repeating myself too much, I would love to know your comments and feedback, so please leave comments in the section below.